See, Saul became possessed because he disobeyed God's servant. He remained possessed because he obeyed his own sermons, servants. Let me explain that. When he disobeyed Samuel, he caused rebellion and that opened the door for an evil spirit to attack his life. He became possessed because he disobeyed God's servant. But did you know why Saul remained like that was because he listened to his servants. He listened to their advice and the advice was this. You need entertainment to fix your demons. You need to bring a kid who can play a harp. Now at first it seems like this advice is innocent. But we know one thing about this advice. It didn't work. Saul got a temporary relief but he never was delivered. Saul for a moment felt better but for a lifetime Saul was tormented by the same spirits because people around him gave him an advice he followed. What would happen if they would tell him get Samuel and he will cast out demons out of you. He would listen because he listened to his servants. They are the people he trusted. He had a hard time listening to Samuel but if somebody would be close to him and say Saul if you get prophet Samuel that guy moves with God and the demons will be over. Now you might have to resign from your job. You might have to give up the throne but you will be cured because Samuel will know how to deal with it. Yeah you might never be a king again and you might have to go back to the fields but Saul you will never have those thoughts again. You will be a free man if you will get Samuel here not a musician and you're more likely to listen to your friends than to listen to your parents. You're more likely to listen to your friends than to listen to your teachers. You are more likely to listen to your friends than to listen to your pastor. You are more likely to listen to those people who are around you and most of you here are also friends to someone who is in need right now and they are more likely to listen to you than to listen to their parents. Because the kind of people you have around you, they influence you. The difference your friends have, the, the difference you, between your friends and your parents is, your, is the influence. Your parents have authority, your friends have influence. And he who has influence is he who has control, not he who has authority. Anytime your advice involves changing somebody's mood, instead of changing somebody's mind, which is repentance, you are giving a bad advice. Anytime your friends give you advice that involves makes you feel better instead of making you be better it's a bad advice and that advice is from Saul's friends. It will make you feel better but it will not make you be better. No he's afraid of Saul he, because he's a teenager he's a young man and those are the people usually we look for advice from those people who are afraid to tell you the truth. We like to have Davids around and listen to me, they're, they're amazing, they're powerful, they're anointed. The only difference about them is they don't have the God to tell you the truth. And if you are off the line, they will never tell you the truth. Why? Because they're scared of you. Samuel on the other hand, well you're afraid of Samuel. <laughs> See, he's not going to invite Samuel. Why? Because Saul is afraid of Samuel. You got to go to people who will tell you no. Who, will, who you know they're not afraid of you. They're just not afraid of you. They love you, they honor you, but they're not afraid to tell you the truth. 